This looks tough, but can x to the power of 10 even show up? Let's find out. Find the coefficient of x to the power of 10 in the expansion of 2x minus 1 divided by x squared to the power of 9. Let's recall the general binomial expansion formula. t sub k plus 1 equals to combination of n choose k. Multiply by a to the power of n minus k. Multiply by b to the power of k. Where a equals to 2x b equals to minus 1 divided by x squared, n equals to 9. Now apply the formula. t sub k plus 1 equals to combination of 9 choose k. Multiply by 2x to the power of 9 minus k. Multiply by minus 1 divided by x squared to the power of k. Break it down. 2x to the power of 9 minus k becomes 2 to the power of 9 minus k. Multiply by x to the power of 9 minus k. Minus 1 divided by x squared to the power of k becomes minus 1 to the power of k. Multiply by x to the power of minus 2k. Combine the powers of x. x to the power of 9 minus k minus 2k equals x to the power of 9 minus 3k. To get the coefficient of x to the power of 10, solve. 9 minus 3k equals to 10. That gives k equals to minus 1 third. But wait, k must be a whole number. So there is no such term in the expansion. The coefficient of x to the power of 10 is 0. Because that term doesn't even exist. Hit the like button, share it with a friend, and don't forget to follow for more smart math tricks.